Shaq Strom back with another video review and this time we have another World of Warcraft Mega Block figure and this is one of the figure sets that come with uh, the figure and this little stand here. And as you can see this is a Night Elf Druid and his name is Iron Oak. He comes in a little tiny box even though I do not have it to show you guys. Uh, has all these pieces of course unassembled. Uh, this figure with the staff out of his hand and then these instructions which uh, I'll show you real quick as you can see has a picture of the character that has his name Iron Oak and that says Night Elf Druid which is pretty cool and it just shows you how to make it there's a uh, how to assemble the figure and then his name here at the top and then how to complete him really easy just like three steps and here's on the back not that much and right here is the um, inventory of uh, the items that in are included in the box which is pretty cool but anyways here is the stand he comes on there's a alliance symbol right here which is the lion as you can see here I'll take it off real quick so you guys can see it better it's just the yellow lion which is pretty cool I don't play alliance that much I used to I'm mainly for the horde and it comes with this little teeny bush it's all plastic it does pop off and this does work with uh, other Lego, or I mean, uh, works with Lego, I mean. And here is Iron Oak. Really nice face uh, paint sculpt, or well, face and paint sculpt. Take that out of his hands real quick. I'm not sure what armor set this is, but it is a Druid set. I haven't played WoW in a long time. Also, you can see he has yellow eyes, some pink skin, some really nice details in the feathers here. He has a really nice uh, posability for a little block figure. He has 360 degree head movement, like so. The head does pop off if you don't spin it around too much. His arms do rotate 360 degrees and they do bend at the elbow you can't go out that far as you can see and you can change his armor you just gotta pop off his head and then take the little clip on the back which you can put the little staff in but anyways you just take the little clip out and take off his head then you can just take off the armor and switch it with somebody else's armor which I think is really cool for Mega Blocks. These are highly customizable, which I like. There are some downsides though. Sometimes they don't want to like like stand where you put them, and you go to like lift up the uh, piece, and it just comes off like that. But I don't think that's one of the reasons uh, Mega Blocks. Well, this line didn't do so well. I think it's just because people didn't really buy them. They were too much for what they're worth, and people still don't like Mega Blocks, so that's a shame. But here is the staff, and this is not straight, as you can see, it's bent, and it did come like this. Maybe if you can run some like hot water through it, and then put it in something, like maybe uh, cut out a little line in a block of wood or something, and straighten it out, or maybe not that drastic. Of a measure, but let's put this in his hand. Just for a real quick size comparison, I have two other Mega Block figures. Here you have next to or uh, Orc Warlock and a Tarn Druid. So they're roughly about the same size. Um, I think the Tarn and the Worgen can switch armor. And they're the only ones that can switch armor, well, body armor at least. The rest of the pieces uh, can be switched. But, all in all, it's a pretty nice figure. 
if you guys like WoW or want something to put on your desk, I do recommend getting this. It's pretty nice. Uh, since uh, the WoW line got cancelled, these should be really cheap for you guys if you wanted it. I got this for like two bucks at my local uh, Big Watts. So, alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.